Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. Today I have here another unboxing to make. This is a box that I received from Germany with a pen I got from eBay. And now let's open it and see it. I will use this Victorinox Alox Solo just because it is silver color and I think that's the way I will match the pen. And that is because I don't really have uh, a silver, uh, a knife made of silver. It's just silver color. So I guess it is open now. Let's turn this over. And open it. Okay, paper to protect the pen, which makes sense so oops paper and paper let's put it away and here we have the pen and the pen is a lamy let's take let's put the box away because this may be reused for something or recycled not sure and here I have a lamy it's fun because it comes with the with the the box this little tray which is nice and which pen do I have here? I have here a Lamy CP1 in silver which is nice. I think you can see there and I'm hitting the camera. It says there Sterling West Germany and 9 to 5 which is the content of uh, silver then Lamy there. I'm not sure if this one has the West Germany there. No, it doesn't. And it would make sense to have it under the clip because it already has there. And then we uncap the pen and we have this nib which is a gold nib and it is an oblique. I think it is a oblique broad. The pen will unscrew, it has no cartridge inside, okay, or converter. So this is the sterling silver pen, which is a, an interesting one. Um, I, it, it has this fluted, not sure if it is the name, with all these lines running down the, the pen, and it has a plastic section as most Lamy CP1s, except as far as I know, the one that is uh, platinum plated. So this one is made of solid silver and that is a nice thing. The cap has a slightly different color. I think I got it a little cheaper than usual because this pen has a little ding there on the opposite side of the nib, but of the clip, but I didn't care much about that because I, don't, I didn't think it, was, it would be that important. So. I'm quite happy to have this pen now. Now I want to show you, and I forgot to bring one pen here, let me grab it. Okay, I have it here now, sorry about that. And I want to show you a few things about this. There is not much more to show, but I don't, I usually don't make any writing samples or anything in my reviews on my, sorry, on my unboxing videos, but I want to provide extra information. So I will just zoom in a little bit and I'll be right, right back. Okay, here we have the Lamy CP1. I don't have, sorry, sorry, sorry about the noise. It was the, that plastic box, which is really noisy. Let me bring the, sorry about this. Let me bring the light down a little bit to be easier to show the pen. So it has already developed some patina and there is some information about Lamy CP1s. I started being interested more and more in Lamy CP1. I think it is a great design, very slim pen. And I was researching and I saw a post on um, Fountain Pen Network and there there is someone that makes a list of the different variations of the Lamy CP1. And there is a big variation that I noticed before, I didn't know the time which is apparently 1983. Before 1983, the Lamy CP1 was 
this kind of model, a slimmer one, and after 1983 it became uh, a little broader. So, what do I have here? We have this silver pen, and I already had this steel pen with this brushed steel, also with uh, maybe the same kind of nib that we find on this one. I think it is the same cut of the nib. At least they look quite similar, although the, the, si the size of the number on the pen are different. So, uh, the size is, is different. I had this one and I also had this one, which is matte black. And it is also the slimmer one, this one has a silver nib. These ones had no breather hole and no lamy engraving on the, um, on the nib. So this uh, is model 50, this is model 58, and this is model 53. If you go now to the stores, you may find also, also a model 53, but the model 53 nowadays is the platinum plated model 53 that came to replace this one. It, it, is, not, it is not the same pen, although the reference number is the same. There are some more that I'm still missing in this collection, but I find this quite nice. If you want to check the difference, I showed it before in some videos I have here, a steel Lamy CP1 after 1983 and one before 1983. You can see this one is thicker than the one on the bottom. Let me uncap both and we'll see the nibs. One has the nib the same as the Lamy Safari nib with a breather hole, still no Lamy engraving there, but you can see the nib size is a little different and the way the it fixates to the clip is to the feed is a little different. If you want, you cannot exchange caps because this cap is too loose for this pen. You just really need to match them. So I have also this Lamy CP1, which is the one made of uh, steel and uh, there are lots of variations. I didn't know there were so many and I'm working slowly on them. And I think this one is a really, really interesting addition. And it is fun to be the, the thinner one. So as far as I understood on that uh, post on the Fountain Pen Network, this pen was released, this Lamy CP1 in sterling silver was released in the first time in 1978, which is fun because it is my birth year, but I'm not sure if this one, this particular one is from 1978, because it could have been made, apparently, since 1978 until 1983, when or 1982, not sure, when they changed the design from this slim one to this thicker one. Just to show you one more of those, I have also here the black one, the older one is on the bottom, sorry, and this black, black mat with steel nib that I showed you before is the number 58, and this one is the number 56. So they have uh, some different catalog numbers. You can see the top of the, the clip, the, the cap is has a different size. There are some more variations and I hope soon I will be able to show you some more videos showing you the nice Lamy CP1. So this was fun to have yet another older Lamy CP1 and it is fun to have the noisy noisy box uh, or this kind of noisy tray just like this very simple you can fit the pen there and just cover with this sliding thing it fits the slimmer model I would say it will also fit the 
thicker model. Yes, it does. So I think it's nice to have a, a nice way to show my LAMI CP1s in different videos. But here it is. This is the pen I got today. And I have here their relatives, which are also from the slim version and it doesn't keep with the clip upright but so this is all i wanted to show you just a little unboxing i will eventually ink this uh, pen and i think it will be fun to try these strange nibs that i don't really love but um i think i i, I really wanted to have the pen and I didn't care that much about the nib. These nibs, if I find another one, they can be exchanged, as far as I know, as the regular ones, not by the regular ones, but with some other. But I don't really care about that. I, I wanted to have one of the sterling silver. And now, uh, while I'm looking at this list, I think I'm still missing two pens from these older slimmer design and quite a few from the later design and i just found out there were also some um, co-branding uh, like lamy for some brand with different colors so i think this may be a long collection this is contradictory because, or contradictory, because I really like large pens. For example, something like the Parker Dufold, which is a thick pen. I like pens of this size, or Leonardo Momento Zero Grande, or the, don't know, the, the Santini Libre, those kind of big pens. But uh, I tend to find some sub collections that doesn't make that much sense. And examples of those are the Lamy CP1, which is very slim pen. It's long, yes, but very, very slim, which is not my preference, but there is something about design that I really enjoy. And there is also the, the well-known, and you know in my collection, it, there are a lot of the uh, Kavec Sport, which is a small pocket pen, short pen, but I also, and I like big nibs, both the Islami and the Kavec Sport have number five. Uh, this has a small nib, a different shape, but the Kavec Sport has a number five nib. And I also love those pens. So I, I feel attracted for this very big diversity of pens. And it's fun. It's fun that I have a special preference if you would ask me just to show you if you ask me i would prefer one pen like this the lamy ion is a thicker pen the nib is not big it's same not the same kind because it's more similar to the safari but this is the size of a pen that i like not the very slim cp1 but sometimes we look at one pen and we see there is something in design that makes it amazing and we like those for I think the reason that I like those is because they are so different from my uh, general preference that I would choose with my eyes closed so this is different and I think I like them because they are different and because they are well designed and well engineered so this is Another Lamy CP1 made of sterling silver. I don't have though that many pens made of silver. Maybe someday I'll make a video about silver pens. And this is all I had to show you. I hope, I think you will see more videos on Lamy CP1s in the future. So this is all I had to show you. I hope you enjoyed and I'll be back soon for more videos. Bye.